Hello, welcome back. Today I have got some more jailbreak tweaks for iOS 13 to share with all of you guys. Now let's go to the first one. It is going to be the tweak for the lock screen. Now if I pull down my notification center and bring back uh, my lock screen down here, you're gonna see um, at the bottom, we have got the music player, we have pause, we have the button to skip to the next song or to the previous song. And this is the tweak called Media Bar, where you can play the music uh, from the bottom of your phone. And now let's go back to setting, go to media bar, and you can show the title and the background, and you can hide your lock screen player. So when you play the music, there is no um, lock screen music player anymore. Instead, you're gonna get um, the media player at the bottom, um, above the home bar. And now let me example for you. So I can just click here to play the music. And now you can see the music. Um, you can see the music is playing. Mm -hmm. Let's say I can go to the app store here, and at the bottom I can still see the music player. So I can pause or I can skip to the next song. So it is uh, much more easier. And for the home bar, it's gonna turn into the progress bar for the music. So you can keep track um, how long or when the music will be in. So it is easier for you. For the next one, it is an add-on for AI widgets. So to enable it, you can just hold on the icon here. And after that, you can click on the free space um, at the bottom. So I'm gonna click on here. And then you're gonna find utility widgets. You can select and you have two different choices. You have Glit and you have iOS. So I'm gonna select on iOS and click on add. And now you have these widgets where you can respring, shut down or reboot or go to set mode. And it is uh, much more easier to go to to access to all of these options and I can show you on respring here I can just simply click on that then my phone will be respring we have another simple trick um, it is basically allow you to change the color on the home bar and now we have got a new color on the home bar here now to change the color it is pretty simple you can just select here then it's gonna pop up the color picker where you can um, change the color from here and let's go to this one and then you can just um, respring to take effect. Move on to Safari Fast Tie. For this one, when you um, open a new tab, it's gonna bring up the keyboard straight away. So you don't have to manually click on the search bar to bring up the keyboard. It is much better, it saves you some time. Now let me go to the new tab. Now when I click on this one, and hit on the plus button, and you can see um, we have the new tab. Also, we got a keyboard pop-up as well. If you take a closer look on the keyboard, you're gonna notice that we have the black keyboard. It is a tweak that's gonna bring um, OLED black keyboard to your iPhone. Move on to Safari Blocker. For this one, it blocks you from um, going to the other website. For example, when you launch um, one website and after that, when you click on something, um, usually it's gonna um, automatically launch the new link. But now after you use um, Safari Blocker, it doesn't do that. It's gonna add you first. Either um, you can either block or you can just, you can block URL or you can block the domain. So it is uh, much more easier. And keyword replace allow you to change the keyword um, throughout your system. So you can change any text into your custom one. Now for example, I can just go to keywords here and then I can just um, click on plus to create a new keyword. And this is the original keyword. For example, I want to replace um, general. And after that, for replacement, I'm gonna um, include the emoji. And let's go back and on apply. Um, apply one more time and then your phone will be the spring. Now go back to setting. And now you can see on general here, it turned to emoji. And you can change the other text throughout your system. And you can change, for example, you can change wallpaper, display and brightness, and so on. There are many more that you can change. Finally, thank for watching. I hope you like all of these tweaks. And then I will see you guys in the next one. And for the wallpaper and the theme, you can find from my video description.